best ministry worth my time. The average child will move several times in their childhood. Some kids only come one time on big days. Some kids drop out. The average bus worker will spend six hours a week on the route. Our lives were in ruins. My husband and I were on the verge of a divorce. My husband wanted our children to attend church, but I wasn't so sure. Had it not been for the bus worker who came by to call on Ernesto's daughter, our marriage would have been lost. Our trust in God restored our marriage, and we attend church faithfully now. I can't imagine our lives without North Valley Baptist Church. I'm Ernesto. And I'm Susan, and we were reached by the bus ministry. Had it not been for faithful bus workers, Rudy and Linda Reyes, I never would have come to church as a seventh grade boy. I never would have gone to Christian college following high school. I never would have stayed involved in my local church following college graduation. I never would have married a preacher's daughter. And I would not be serving as a deacon at North Valley, seeking to raise our four children for God's glory. I'm Chris, and I'm a bus kid. Hi, I'm Bill. I'm not a bus kid. However, if the North Valley Baptist Church did not have a bus ministry, we may have never found out about this church that we have served in for 31 years. Bus workers from a young church were out knocking on doors for a big day in 1979. We were a newly married couple with no kids. Uh, we visited the church the next day. We have been attending ever since. I have served as a children's church preacher in our church for more than 30 years. My wife has been on staff for more than 20. And I'm Bill. I am not a bus kid. However, I have no idea where my family would be without the bus ministry of North Valley Baptist Church. When I was one years old, my babysitter brought me to church. I grew up on the bus. Today I attend North Valley Baptist Church. My husband and I teach Spanish bus kids on Sunday. My name is Jonah and I'm a bus kid. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a bus kid. Two college-age ladies took time to knock the doors in the area where I lived. I was playing outside with my little cousin. They invited us to attend Hot Dog Sunday. Little did I know that their investment of time on that Saturday morning would change my life forever. The past 10 years of my life have been more than I could ever explain. I'm now attending GSBC, and it's my goal to live a lifetime for God, seeking to reach everyone that I can. I'm a bus kid. worth all the money. Gas prices are rising, insurance increasing. I'm Daisy and I'm a bus kid. At first, my parents used a bus as a free babysitting service, sending me as a four-year-old girl each week with my older brother. Little did they know that this free babysitting service would change our family's lives forever. My mom was saved when soul winners came by during Saturday morning visitation. My dad was saved in the home of a church member during a home Bible study. Within five years, our family of four was driving in faithfully to church. In 1992, my dad became the Spanish pastor at North Valley Baptist Church, and in 2001, God moved them to start a Spanish church where they have served ever since. God led me to marry someone who also grew up going to church on a bus every week. However, his parents were Rudy and Linda Reyes, faithful members who rode the bus as a captain and driver for more than 27 years. A bus kid married the son of a bus captain. My life would have turned out very differently had it not been for the bus ministry. Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm a bus kid. I remember that first Sunday morning when as a six-year-old boy, I rode the bus in Rockford, Illinois, to a simple church on Auburn Street. It was there as a child that I learned of the love of God. Little did those bus workers and children's church workers know that they'd reached a boy who would dedicate his life to teaching boys and girls. For the past 34 years, 
I've preached every Sunday to the 4th through 6th graders who ride the bus to North Valley. For the past 33 years, I've taught in our Christian school. All this was made possible because a bus worker came to our house every Sunday. My name is Jim Carey, and I am a bus kid. As a child playing outside, a bus worker stopped by my house and told me of a really exciting and fun place where we could play games, receive prizes, and learn about the Bible and Jesus. I wanted to go so badly, but my mother said no. Every week, the bus workers would ask if I could come, and every week, my mom would say the same thing. One day, they told me it would be the Carnival Sunday, and my brother suddenly became interested. I rode the bus, and I loved it. Before long, I was bus visiting with my bus workers and translating Spanish for them. I still work on that same bus route. Hi, I'm Maria and I'm a bus kid. At the age of 10, Sunday was the highlight of my week. My six-year-old sister and I would wake up, have breakfast, and stand at the top of the stairs to wait for the bus. We would see the bus a block away and could hear the bus songs long before it pulled up at our door. Today, my sister is a pastor's wife and I serve at North Valley Baptist Church as a nursery worker and cellist in the church orchestra. Hi, I'm Dana and I'm a bus kid. My name is Jason and I'm a bus kid who grew up without a dad in a drug infested home filled with violence and immorality. Had it not been for faithful bus workers knocking on my door as a 12-year-old boy, who knows what would have happened to my life. They invited me to come on Whole Heart Sunday in 1986, and I didn't miss a single Sunday on the bus for more than two years. It was not uncommon to see drugs, needles, and a steady stream of different men coming in and out of my house. In fact, as a sophomore in high school, my mother moved away while I was at church. I had no idea where she was moving, and I had no idea where she moved to. The only stable good influences in my life were the people of North Valley Baptist Church. They loved me, cared for me, trained me, supported me, prayed for me, and even sponsored my way through the Christian school. Because of their love, I made some wise decisions as a teenager. I gave my heart to God and surrendered to serve Him full time with my life. Following graduation from North Valley Baptist School and Golden State Baptist College, I moved with my wife Amber to Tuscola, Illinois where I became the pastor of Faith Baptist Church in a town of 4,600 people. The first special day I led our church to have was Whole Heart Sunday, the same day I was reached on. I joyfully drove our church bus every Wednesday and Sunday, seeking to reach other boys and girls who are growing up without Christ just as I was reached nearly 25 years ago. My name is Jason Garcia, and I'm a bus kid. When I was 11 years old, a friend invited me to stay the night at his house and ride the bus with him to church. I faithfully attended for three years, but for some reason dropped out. Years later, my wife began attending a Baptist church. She kept inviting me and I found out it was the same one that had sent the bus to pick me up as a child. Now there are three generations of my family attending North Valley Baptist Church. My name is Chris James and I have three generations here at North Valley and I'm a bus kid. I came to California in 1978 to join my family who had just arrived from the Philippines. One day, a church bus passed by and we called the number in order to get a ride. That day, I received reassurance of my salvation. Soon thereafter, my parents were saved at North Valley Baptist Church. Since 1980, I have served as a bus worker at North Valley Baptist Church. I'm Herna and I'm a bus kid. I remember in fifth grade, a bus worker came to this store and invited me to church. His name was Brother Debsky, and he knocked on our door, and with a friendly smile and exciting attitude, 
He invited me and my family to church. My first time on the bus was a big day called Whopper Sunday. As a result of the bus ministry, I was able to finish my high school education at North Valley Baptist School and go on to attend Bible college. As a result of the bus ministry, I'm now a Golden State graduate alongside my wife, Celeste Ali, also a Golden State graduate. My name is Sam, and I'm a bus kid. My name is Anwar, and I'm a bus kid. 14 years ago, last month, my family was homeless and I was in jail. As do many inmates, I prayed. I told God that when and if I got out, I would take my family to church and change. One week later, the Justice Department mistakenly released me. The next day was Saturday, and a knock came to the home where we were living with some friends. It was the bus captain from bus seven. I knew it was God answering my prayer from that jail cell. They asked if the kids could go, and I said only if we can come too. We came that Sunday, and soon after we were saved and joined this great church. The bus ministry does work. Praise the Lord. All five of my children and my wife are saved and are away to heaven. Now we have the privilege to serve God in the bus ministry and patch clubs. My name is Todd, and we're a bus family. Hi, my name is Eugenia Muniz, and we are a bus family. Hello, my name is Christina Cousin. This is my husband Tom, who's the Philippine pastor here at North Valley Baptist Church. And these are my children, and I'm thankful for the bus ministry. I am Bus Kid. I'm a bus kid. I'm a bus kid. I'm a bus kid. <laughs> I'm a bus kid. 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 Am I worth your money? Am I still relevant to you? Am I worth your time? Oh